Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Let's DevOps. Uh, today's video is going to be a continuation of the previous video. A uh, couple of our uh, channel viewers had asked, uh, hey, uh, could you make a video wherein you set up Bitbucket uh, runner, uh, not for an Unix environment, but we want it for a Windows environment. So if we want to run the pipeline directly on my Windows laptop, then how do I set up the uh, runner? Uh, it's not as straight and easy, uh, straightforward as it is for Linux, but it's not that complex either. So if this is something that is interesting, uh, please do like, share and subscribe to the video channel uh, without wasting much time. Let's get started. So, yep, uh, this is our Bitbucket uh, uh, cloud uh, portal that we have. And uh, let me jump into one of the projects that I have. And if you had followed our previous video, you know where to go and check the runner section. So you have repository settings. And then on the left, you have a runner section. We have a couple of runners uh, we have already registered uh, predominantly for the Unix environment for the Ubuntu machine. Now we would like to have uh, it installed directly on the Windows uh, OS. So as we do, add runner and this time the system architecture is Windows 64 bit and let's say SK underscore Windows. Runner labels, uh, this is important because you use these labels in the uh, pipeline to let the pipeline know okay you need to execute this entire pipeline on this machine ubuntu or windows or wherever so you use this as the uh, tag or label right and next right as it always does it gives you set of commands that you need to execute to uh, set up the runner on your machine but for windows it's a little tricky now what they say is they ask you to uh, run these commands on partial and uh, you need to uh, execute these commands as an administrator. So you basically need to open partial as a administrator, uh, which will then uh, give you all uh, full access privileges. And then I CD into a repository, um, sorry, a drive where I have some space, D drive. And now I'm going to go ahead and run these commands. If I paste this, it starts to download and uh, the download takes about a minute or two to finish. So I'm speeding it up. All right, there you go. Uh, it has downloaded, so quickly do a check. What happened? Yep, so there you see, uh, I can see that the Atlassian Bitbucket uh, pipeline runner.zip is downloaded. Good. Now, if I go and uh, run this it should probably extract the zip file and give an extracted folder right uh, sometimes that could be an error when you're trying to uh, run these uh, commands uh, and uh, that is more like you if your windows does not have the settings to uh, download external files or download files from the internet then you might have to uh, uh, temporarily allow the partial to be able to go to the internet and then download stuff uh, i think the i had that issue so it basically asks you to run the get execute policy execution policy and if i run that now it says bypass but uh, initially it said uh, it was restricted yeah so see here if it is restricted undefined or all assigned, all signed, then in that case, partial will not be able to download uh, uh, stuff, zips, packages from the internet. So we might have to temporarily bypass and to do that, you run this command. This is uh, a temporary bypass only for this session. If I close this partial window and reopen it again, my execution policy will again get set back to restricted. So you don't have to worry that it has now opened up for all instances all time and then some crap is going to get downloaded. No, this is only for this instance, this uh, uh, terminal session. And then if you run this uh, download command that is given by uh, Bitbucket, you should be able to get it downloaded. Right, we downloaded the zip, we extracted it, now what do we do next? Now we cd into the bin location. Less that's less that's where you have the star.sh uh, uh, star.ps 
uh, that will start the agent. Now, if I run this right now, it will fail because one of the prerequisites for the uh, Bitbucket runner to be installed on Windows version is the Windows machine, machine must have Java installed. And does it also specify which version of Java it requires? No, it doesn't specify. I'm not sure if even the legacy Java versions will work. Maybe I can check here if they have mentioned. That's the crazy part here. So they don't have any mention about which Java version or even the, the fact that a prerequisite step that the Windows machine must have Java installed for you to be able to install the Bitbucket runner is not given uh, is a little baffling, but that's all right. Now we need to get Java installed. There are multiple open source uh, uh, locations from where you can download Java. And one of the locations that I have is uh, Adoptium. So I go here and then I download it. Again, I download Java uh, and then install it just like how I used to install any other Windows application. Uh, I go through the steps and finally finish the installation. I think um, we might have to close this terminal and then reopen it again because I doubt if it will show up already. Yeah, so let's exit. And here you have to open partial again as administrator. Yep. And I CD to D drive where I have this. And now if I give Java version, perfect. So as a part of the installation already um, the system variable is also set uh, and then uh, the environment variable is also set so we have java 21 now uh, one of the prerequisites that is needed is set all good now let's go ahead and run oops we need to jump to the win and let's go let's go try and run Okay, running scripts is disabled for this machine and that's the error that I encountered. So if you execute this, restricted. So I might have to bypass it for this terminal instance. And let's give S to all clear. Rerun. There you go, things are coming up clean. And if I get to Bitbucket, and there you go, SK Windows is in online status. And how do you get a pipeline to get executed on your Windows? Uh, it's pretty simple. We have also covered it in the previous video, but very quickly, I go to my Bitbucket pipeline.yaml file, edit, and there you will have. Um, place where I give the runs on oh yeah I copy this maybe I will create another step very quickly test windows runner does it accept? I will open another instance. Does it accept who am I command? Okay, it takes. So, what I will do is who am I? And I want the runs on to be. not self-hosted it should be windows that's the tag and the script is who am i and i can also add ls and let's say we also give pwd maybe and who am i is going to basically prove that this particular stage is executed on uh, my windows machine because it, it will print my uh, desktop and then sk as the username let's see i don't need these services Let's go. 
uh, hopefully the syntax is right I commit and quickly jump to pipeline yeah seems to be progressing syntax seems to be right has it already finished the first stage boom and if I go here there you go desktop SK is printer which proves the fact that this uh, particular stage is actually happening on my Windows uh, machine uh, because we just installed the runner and we have marked the stage to execute on my Windows laptop. Perfect. Then that's pretty much all that I had for today's video. Um, it was coming from a request from one of our viewers. So I hope you um, uh, have some takeaways from today's video. Until next time, see you all in another video. Take care. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye-bye. Thank you.